Hello, everybody. CW here. Man, Santa Claus was good to me. This is a Sealy, C-Y-E-L-E-E, -E -E, Wolf 2, green dot, red dot. This is what I wanted to go on here since I decided to put a red dot on it. When I ordered this base from Rucker Machine, I specified it in RMR footprint because you can get it in the, the doctor footprint or the RMR footprint. And I did it because I had this Swamp Fox. Um, I forget which model this is. I always forget which model this is. But anyway, it's a pretty good dot. It's got Shake Awake and such. I pulled it off my 10 millimeter, my, uh, my 1G20 and uh, put it on here. And as these green dots have become more available, I knew that I would be looking for something and I found one of these and uh, made mention of it and Santa Claus brought it to me. So I'm gonna bring you along. Let's open this up. Let's see what we got here. Um, see what comes in the package. Let me get you zoomed in here so you can see a little better. Move things around a little bit so we have room. Let me show you what we got. All right. Little zeroing. Oh, it shows you how things work. Okay. That's nice to know if you're new at these kind of things. Troubleshooting. Uh, okay. Some things that people probably have problems with, they know about. Pretty good. Um, all right. How to set it up, how to turn it, where the dots go. One thing that I always do, and let's see if this one here is the same way. I can't even read that. Let me get my, let me get my cheater. Oh, I can't use this. I've got a cheater magnifier here. See if I can read it this way. Rotate the direction of the arrow. It says up, the dot will move down. Okay. So this one is backwards. Most of the time with these, the way I always do my dots and scopes and such, is I think of them as a screw. And I think of them as the dot being the tip of the screw. Okay. Most people know you screw in, you screw clockwise in. Well, that moves the dot either in or down, if you think about that, okay? The tip of the screw is the dot. You turn it in, it goes in or right or down because that's the way your, your adjustments are. They're on the top or on the side. So they're going to go down or they're going to go you know, in. So it's always been easy without thinking about it, without looking at it, without anything you just screw it in to go down and you unscrew it to go up and you screw it in to go to the left and you unscrew it to go to the right it's just it's like simple but sometimes the dots are backwards so you want to read and know and this one here is a backwards one so it's good that they give you this plaque piece of paper here to to know and they'll also usually always say r or u or d or l meaning you turn it this direction, it goes L, meaning left, or turn it this direction, it goes R, meaning right. So there you go. There's that. We get a little sticker. That's pretty cool. Little Sealy sticker. And what do we got here? In instruction manual? Yeah, instruction manual. So this will tell you with screws, a little bit of troubleshooting, changing the battery, how the shake awake works. 10 illumination settings, 8 daytime and 2 night. That's pretty nice. I didn't know it had night vision or night vision compatible. And in case you don't know what that means is um, night vision or, you know, able to see in the dark grabs the, the littlest, tiniest little bit of light and brightens it up, magnifies it so you can use it. So if you were to use a, 
a regular red dot with night vision, you would wash out everything you see. It would, you would just, it would be way too much light. In, in reverse or in, in oppo opposition during the daytime, when you have it in the nighttime settings, you probably don't see anything. You can't see any light coming out of that whatsoever because your ambient light is so bright, it overpowers the, the very, very light, small amount of light that's coming out of that emitter to give you a dot that you can't even see it because there's so much light out there. So those settings, the night vision settings, are very, very much reduced su subtle light so that they don't get overpowered when you look through your night vision into your scope. So there you go. That's what that is. Uh, lens cleaning cloth. Looks like a whole bunch of, yeah, a whole bunch of screws with, with Loctite already applied, which is pretty nice. You don't need to remember to bring your Loctite with you if you're doing this at the range. And then over here, what do we got over here? Wow, more screws. They give you a lot of screws and a couple of wrenches. Nice. Nice, nice. And then lastly, here's our dot. And a little bit of moisture absorbing desiccant. Don't eat this stuff, huh? It says so right there, do not eat. And here's our dot. And it comes with the Pick rail, weaver base attached. Pretty nice. Let's see here. Turn it on. There it is. Turn it up a little bit. Nice. Let's see if I can. There you go. It's a circle dot. See if I can turn it down. Maybe it's easier to see. It's not so bright. There it is. I don't know. I'm not having good luck with focusing on these dots, but you can see it there in there blurry. It's a nice small dot, and man, is it crisp for me. Take my cheaters off here. Yeah, it's just as sharp as can be. And the, the claim to fame with this, the biggest reason that I, I wanted it, number one, green. Um the human eye can see green better than red um, unless you've got some kind of a deficiency with your eyes where you're colorblind but this is i thought it said it on here but i guess it doesn't thought it said it on here somewhere anyway uh astigmatism if you have astigmatism this is uh a friendly dot to that. It's a little easier or crisper or better looking dot for people with astigmatism, which covers a whole lot of people. So that's a that's a pretty nice feature. Alright, it's a small a small Allen. Yeah, small size Allen. All right, so let me take this apart. Let me get the one off the gun here and get it on there. I, fortunately, um, YouTube will not let me let you watch me do this because uh, somebody might get hurt. So uh, I'm going to make it really safe and I'm going to take this apart so that you guys are safe and don't get hurt. And I'll bring you back when it's all done, when it's safe again and, and nobody can possibly get hurt. So stand by. Here we go. Boy, am I glad I did that off camera. I averted so much problems. You guys could have been hurt bad with this. Wow, I'm glad I did this. Just want to remind you that this is called Vibratite VC3. Get yourself a tube of this. It's, it's a little expensive, but a little goes a long way. And it's, it's better for really tiny screws than Loctite. Loctite can be dangerous on teeny weeny little screws, teeny, teeny, teeny ones on regular scope rings. And well, I don't, I don't advise you to use Loctite on scope rings on scope bases. Um, Loctite is fine. Works great. Always has, always will. Even red. I use red Loctite on my scope bases. No problem at all. It comes right off. 
Those are small screws, but they're not tiny. Those are like sixes and eights. They're small, they're not tiny. A lot of the screws that are in these red dots are fours. That's a tiny screw. Threes. Um, if, you, if you've if you got a Glock or Glock style gun, the front sights on those are teeny weeny, teeny, fine, fine, fine threads. And even with heat, the Loctite can be stronger than the screw material and you twist those screws off and you ruin your sights. When you use a stuff like this, it's not as um, violent attachment as Loctite is. And yet it holds it from coming off because it's got just a little bit of give to it. So you just snug it down and once it sets, and it doesn't take long, it it's almost like it's cushioned. It's not going to come off on you. Um, Loctite relies on it being solid and immobile. It locks the threads so they do not move. Okay. This stuff here, it, it, it almost, it would work if you just snugged it. Because it would allow it to move back and forth. But it would never come off all the way unscrewed. Because this stuff is like gummy. Uh, like molasses. Um, it, it works awesome. And I hit the nail on the head, I think, when I described it as the stuff, again, I, you know, I don't know the age of my viewers, or all of them. Um, but if you're like me, you know, 60 years old, um, there was a product when we were kids that used to, used to buy it, came in a little metal tube and a little straw, and you would poke the tube and push the stuff on the end of the straw, and you'd blow through the straw, and you'd make a bubble, this orange bubble. That material... I forget what it's called. I know um, John knows what it is. He mentioned it right off the bat. Um, and he's going to say it in the comments. I know he is. Um, but that material, that product, I'm sure it's the same stuff. If it's not exactly the same, it's, it's, it's the same. <laughs> it seems the same. And it works great. So there we go. We've got the wolf mounted up fit on the base perfectly these screws were done with the vibratite they came right off you just put some pressure on them and hold them and you can feel it like give and it just kind of comes off this stuff is awesome i highly recommend you get it like i said it's a little expensive but i highly recommend you get a tube of this stuff if you're fiddling with dots and scopes and taking things on and off you're going to want it oh uh, you thank me later so there we go um, I have not done anything with this yet. We get the holidays. We just finished Christmas. So uh, getting to the range is kind of tough. But uh, I still need to do a little more fitting here. I want to, uh, this this winter before spring, I want to take this apart and off. And I want to sand this down here. Um, the fitment here is a little bit, this wood is a little bit high right here. And it's better high than low because I can sand it off. But I can make this you know, be just as smooth and as nice as can be. And that's what I want to do. Bottom side too. Bottom side is a little bit, a little bit proud, but I can sand it off and make it perfect. And then uh, do a little more in the fitment here because it can be pushed up farther. And that's all with back here. But I'll do all that before I really start shooting this. Now I've got my green dot, which is what I always wanted on here. So now my 44 and my 45 both have green dots, and this one's got a nice rubber cover. I really wish that that, uh, that wolf, or that owl, rather, came with a cover. But it doesn't. But whatever. All right, everybody. God bless. Happy New Year. Please have a safe New Year. Don't drink and drive. If you're going to drink, stay where you are. Or get a driver. Call an Uber. Don't drive. It's not just yourself that you could be saving. God bless everybody. CW out!